What is poppin' fam? So for the past eight months, we have been developing something extremely special just for you, and that is the apparel. Two pieces have just launched, the Make It Count jacket in blue and black, and then we also got the joggers with the logo on the back right here. If you want to go ahead and copy yourself some, go ahead and check out the card. Oh, and if you want 15% off, check the description, because we got something special for you. Now onto the video. Or keeping those hips tucked under. What is poppin' fam? My name is Brennan Myers, and today we're gonna be talking about exercises, actually one specific exercise you can be using to really make your pull-ups stronger, build some size in those lats, those traps, and those rhomboids, and just become a much better athlete in general. Now we're gonna focus on first, just the weightlifting aspect of it. So we're gonna take one exercise that I'm gonna teach you. This is really unique and effective. And then we're gonna move over to body weight training, and we're gonna go and just zone in on one specific exercise for that. So if you do have a gym, go ahead and do that. If you don't have a gym, go ahead and do the body weight movement. And then I'll give you one more tip that you could be using to really exponentially speed up the process to bigger and stronger lats. So we're gonna get started by grabbing some type of dumbbell. So on the ground right now, we have a 35 pound dumbbell and you can use uh, 15 pounds if you're just getting started, it doesn't really matter. As long as you're contracting that lat and you're keeping all points of contact on the ground throughout the whole movement, you will be exactly where you need to be. So if you back up just a little bit, you can see I'm completely flat on the ground. Now my back isn't in extension anywhere, right? So now I'm gonna be tightening in my abs here. And what this is gonna do is lay that spine down so I'm in a neutral position. That is so important throughout all your movements. Scaps are gonna be down, okay? So retract them and then they're gonna be down and then that stomach tighten it all the way into your spine so it's flat on the ground, you can have a hand go through here, and then you're gonna make sure that your actual legs are all around the ground as well, so all points of contact on the actual ground. Now, with this dumbbell, what you're gonna be doing, it's gonna be over your head, okay? And what you're gonna do is just with one arm, fully extend at that elbow joint, and what you're gonna do is make sure everything is straight. I keep on emphasizing that because this is where a lot of people go wrong and you're going to just pull here. And you're gonna see if you retract and depress your scaps. So remember, don't let them flare out like this. It's gonna be in. Think about tucking them in too closer to your stomach or your spine, okay? And you're gonna come right back out. And you're gonna pull back. <sighs> And this is a pretty heavy weight for me, so I might wanna go a little bit lighter, right? But 35 pounds, you can do it with just one arm, single. <sighs> this is gonna work. The same exact muscles you're gonna be using, except for not as much your rhomboids as the pull-up. Now, you can also do it with two arms here, or two hands, you can grab the weight. Same dumbbell, okay? Really squeezing everything into the ground and pulling up to here. And with this, you can actually go a little bit heavier if you would like, but again, one more, and you just pull up. And if you stabilize at that core, you keep those scaps retracted and depressed, you will feel it a lot in your lats. Now to the body weight portion of the one exercise that will help you build strength in your lats, and most importantly, your pull-ups. That's what everybody really wants, right? Really strong pull-ups and a wide back. So what we're gonna be focusing on, yes, you could be doing different exercises, like the trying to do jumping pull-ups and all of those variations of the actual pull-up, like chin-ups, um, there's there many different variations, but today what I wanna focus on is something in a different position. I always think variation is so important, especially when you're moving in a different position and trying to pull and create force at that specific uh, area. So what we're gonna be doing is going down onto our backs here, okay? And instead of two hands on the bar, once you're strong enough, of course, you're gonna go to one hand on the bar. Now, with our feet, what you're going to do, if you're a beginner, you're gonna keep two hands on your bar. These are what I call inverted rows on just for body weight. So there's, you have uh, bent over rows for weight, 
here you have inverted rows. They're pretty much the same exact exercise without the resistance, more so your body. So how do we make it harder? Well, first of all, if you're a beginner, you're going to bend your knees here, okay? Keep them together or just outside shoulder width apart and you're gonna squeeze those hips in and you are going to be pulling to the bottom of that, usually I say nipple line, but a lot of people laugh at that. But we're gonna do it bottom of that chest, okay? So once again, tucking in that chin, making sure everything's completely straight, retracting and depressing those scaps and lifting up those hips so they're in full extension. And what you're gonna do is pull to that bottom of the nipple line. And then what we can do from that position, we can bring out our legs a little bit more and we can straighten them. And now we're at this position. Okay, keeping that chin tucked, legs completely straight. Now, if we wanna make it even harder, this is what we do. We take just one hand off, and this is where the isolation and the strength of your pull-ups are really going to benefit. So all you're going to do, here, grab, you can go just right outside of that shoulder, or right over that shoulder, actually. You can bend at those knees again, flex at those hips, extend at those hips, sorry, and then you're going to be pulling with that chin tucked to the top of the bar towards that nipple right here <sighs> nipple towards that chest okay and it's going to go on the same side extension of the hips keeping that chin tucked here now one thing that a lot of people do wrong is they try and flare out their elbows this is actually going to take a lot of stress off of the actual lat engagement and put it more on your shoulder joint. And that's not what we want. We don't want our shoulder joint to be at any type of risk. So we're going to bring them to about a 45 degree angle at that position rather than all the way in here, okay? So not all the way in, not all the way out, right in between. That'll be set and one more time. Extension, keeping that chin back, retract and depress those scaps, and then pulling up to the bottom of that chest. Now, when you get even better at them, you can now bring your legs completely out and straddled. So now when you come up, it's here, okay? And then if you're really, really strong, now you're gonna keep them together and pull all the way up to that shoulder. So each time you're gonna get stronger and stronger and stronger, and soon enough, you're gonna be able to do one arm inverted rows, and this will translate a ton, not only to your pull-up, but other types of pull-ups, so arrow, archer, going into muscle-ups, and different exercises like that. Now, I know I said I was only gonna give you one weight training exercise and one body weight training exercise, but Lexi jogged my memory of an exercise that you can specifically use to help you learn the pull-up even better and engage all the muscles that you're supposed to be working. So remember, those lats, those traps, those rhomboids, but most importantly, those lats, that's what we really wanna build and get stronger, right? So Lexi's gonna come in here and be my demonstratee, demonstrator, so <laughs> I'm gonna be the demonstrator, right? Yeah, that <laughs> doesn't make any sense. But so she is more of a beginner when it comes to specific movements of body weight training, but she's also more advanced, she can do hands, stands and different types of L sits and how did she get to this position or uh, how did she build up her lats? Well, she did one specific exercise. So when you're doing any type of lat uh, engagement exercise, lat pull down, uh, remember any exercise really, you wanna focus on tightening in that core, keeping those hips tucked under, okay? So usually you're an anterior pelvic tilt, you want your hips to be under like this, exactly like this here, okay? Tighten up, this is gonna create a neutral spine position and then when she grabs onto the bar, rather than being all the way out here, she's going to retract and depress her, her scaps, so they're gonna come together, and then she's gonna make sure that her hips, remember, are tucked under and her actual abs are squeezed in, so she's completely straight here. So she's gonna grab onto the bar here, and this is gonna be the same specific exercise that you're gonna be doing. Up. Okay, remember thumb is gonna be under the bar at all times and as she's hanging, all she's gonna do is come and tighten up her core and pull up from those scaps into that position, making sure that she's not really using them with her actual elbow at all. Don't really use that at all in your triceps. So here, yep, perfect. And we're gonna do two more, pulling up and one more. Good, so all you're doing is you're just retracting and depressing your scaps from a elongated position here and what this is gonna do is engage those lats, those rhomboids, and those traps so that when you do go through the whole movement, and I'll show you right now, you know, I'm a little bit more advanced at these so they're easier for me. So I'm here, retracting those scaps, and then when I pull up, you see how I'm retracted and then I'm pulling up. What this is gonna do is really isolate the muscles you need. So, without further ado, 
Thank you for tuning in, Lexi. My homie, my girl, she's here just showing you all about bodyweight training and this is what we love. This is the type of exercise that we like to present to you so you can take something unique and use it in your training and your fitness levels and just keep on getting better and better and better. Remember, the apparel is launched right now so go check it in the description. If you want any programs, bodyweight training or weight training, go ahead and check out the body design tool at bodydesigntool.com and we can get you started with a unique program for you. So that being said, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the support. Remember, new video every Tuesday and Saturday. If anything, we'll add more videos onto that, but generally Tuesday and Saturday, 6.30 a.m. Pacific time. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time.